Hi everybody, this is Judy and I'm here with baby Percy, my adorable grandson. And I wanted to share with you an adventure that I'm going to do this year, kind of in honor of my mom. Um, as you people that knew my mom who went to be with the Lord last January, um, she loved memorizing the scripture and she wanted us as children to memorize the scripture, even as children. My, my family, we had to learn like 10 verses a week and we got prizes, it was super fun. So in honor of my mom, I have taken up this challenge and I'd love to invite you to go with me to learn 49 commands of Christ. 49, that's right, 49 Bible verses that we're going to learn. There, that can be your card from Christ. How to live the life, the Christian life. If you want to be a follower of Christ, he said, come follow me. Now to Joshua in the Old Testament, this is actually my mom's Bible. I was with my mom when she bought it. We want that one too? She bought it at Hope Church in Oakville, nice big print. And this is like the last Bible that she bought. It's beautiful, but it's divided into two sections, the Old and the New Testament. In the Old Testament, before Jesus came, Joshua, in Joshua 1.8, he said, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate. Got that? Meditate day and day and night. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt... Yep, you can have this one too. And then thou shalt have good success. So God promises success if we memorize and meditate on God's word. So that's what God told Joshua to do to combat the the big um, you know, challenges that he had. And so to the, to the people, us in the New Testament, which is the second half of the Bible, is the promises of Jesus. So number one, okay, we're gonna do number one. See it's a U-turn, can you see it's a U-turn? The U-turn is ah. repent. So I'm gonna read the verse, Percy, ready? Because <laughs> Grandma Margaret would have done this for you. It said, from that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So repent's kind of a, Percy, a military term that means about faith. So that term repent, this is clue number one. You can have it, hide it in your heart. Repent means about face. From that time, Jesus began to preach and say, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And a lot of people say, well, what am I repenting from? And it's kind of an old-fashioned word called sin. And mom used to explain it. Sin is anything we do or say or guess what? Think that makes God really, really sad. So repent for the kingdom of heaven. Oh, Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. That's verse number 1. Congratulations, everyone. Verse number 1. Percy's got it. <laughs>